G'day my YouTube friends, how's everyone going? My name's Caroline and this is my weekly wrap up. I hope wherever you're watching from, you're having a happy Sunday. You had a great weekend. Uh, as you can see, I made a sneaky purchase. Now, I purchased this thing about six weeks ago, uh, but it got lost in mail and I finally got it. Ugh, but anyway, I'm just glad I finally got it. Uh, this is the Change of Monarch 2024 six coin uncirculated year set. Uh, this is really cool because a couple of weeks ago on my Caracash Collects, I actually showed you guys the new $1 coin that's been circulating uh, recently and it also it shows the King Charles's effigy on it. Now what's cool about this is this actually shows the $2 coin with his effigy on it which is brand new. Uh, cannot wait to open this and see. So yeah like I mentioned I bought this a while ago but this got lost so many of you if you did buy this yourselves you would have got this ages ago. So I'll pause it sorry I'll hold it here so you can pause it if you want to read but basically it just talks about you know uh, like I've mentioned plenty of times before how the effigy you know between monarchs faces the other direction. It's been going like that for hundreds and hundreds of years uh, so he uh, King Charles is facing in the opposite direction that Queen Elizabeth was uh, facing and it also states here that the maximum issue limit for this set is a hundred thousand so normally they don't actually give a mintage figure for these coin sets they just print or mint I should say sorry not print but mint on demand um, but the fact that yeah this is actually a limited piece this is why people were going to be crazy about these things so let's look at this side first <laughs> uh, here you can see the two dollars the one dollar the 50 cents the 20 cents the 10 cents and the five cents if you're not from australia and you didn't know they are our coins that we have in circulation um, we don't have 25 cents like i know america and canada have 25 cents and i'm sure other countries as well um, but yeah we don't have one cent we don't have two cents that ended a uh, long time ago but we do have the one two fifty twenty ten and five cent coins and then if you turn it over here you will see and what's really Really beautiful about this set and which is why I don't normally collect a whole heap of these sets but I wanted this one because as you can see Queen Elizabeth's all her five different portraits fun fact there was actually six different portraits because one portrait was released just for one year and that was in I think it was the 50 cent coin in don't quote me but I want to say 2000 2001 I'll put it up on screen right now but um, people don't even almost realize that there was a six portrait, but there was, uh, but these five are the most commonly known. So you've got a really, really young, young Queen Elizabeth. Then this is the second uh, oldest uh, or youngest, I should say, portrait. Then these three are probably the ones that most people will remember. And these are the most common because um, they're still in our coins. This one was actually used on the old uh, pre-decimal currency. Whereas this one was used on the uh, first wave of the coins, the 1966 coins. Uh, but yeah, these three portraits down here are the most common. So the IRB and the Jodie Clark are the most recent. Uh, but here, as you can see, we've got King Charles. So he is now on the two dollar coin which is so cool it's so bizarre still not used to seeing someone else's portrait other than Queen Elizabeth's because you know she's been on our coins forever like there's never been another monarch on our coins uh, so to see another monarch on coins is just so foreign still still getting used to it uh, and especially that he decided not to wear a crown. So I think over in the UK, there is a coin uh, with his crown on it, or it's like the ones that you purchase the carded variety, but the circulated coins don't have the crown. Uh, that was obviously his choice not to have a crown. Uh, Queen Elizabeth always had some type of crown. Like even in this first original one, she's got some type of something in her hair like it's like a tiara or of some sort you know it might not be a full-on crown like these later ones but yeah he's chosen not to do anything but yeah I'm really stoked I finally got this coin set uh this took a while took a while to get here that's for sure 
All right, so before I go, I do want to tell you about a TV show that I watched this last week. So like The Change of Monarch, it has been out for a few weeks now, but the reason why I held off watching it is because I did want to binge watch it. Uh, I did not want to watch it week for week. I knew this was a show that I just wanted to get in there and binge over like two or three nights. And so this show is called Masters of the Air, and it's like a band of brothers. It's the Pacific, if you've watched those World War II miniseries, the Spielberg, the Tom Hanks duo, uh, they are amazing. And this was really great too. So the Band of Brothers was the European um, side of things. You've got the Pacific, obviously the Pacific. Uh, and then this is at the take on the airmen as opposed to infantry. The other two were infantry and military. Uh, so really exciting TV show. And it's amazing. It's amazing to think what all these men went through and women and service animals. You, everyone forgets about the animals as well, unfortunately, but I really love World War II movies and documentaries and having my family served in the war as well like I just find history so amazing the good the bad the everything I just find history really interesting and I love watching things about that uh, so yeah it's a really great show if you do like those kind of things definitely give it a go it's over on Apple and you know all the latest up and coming great actors are starting to pop up in all these things and it's you're really we've really seen the next wave of actors because Austin Butler is starting to pop up in everything now and all the other actors that are in this show as well you recognize them and you go oh yes 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 the best of the best are really starting to pop up on your screens quite often now but yeah, other than that, I've had a really good week and I hope everyone else has too. Happy Sunday. Unfortunately, I don't have any cash to unstuff, but that's a good thing. <laughs> uh, but this week, yeah, I am planning on uh, possibly going to the Easter show. Uh, I'm possibly doing a few other things this week. So uh, in prep as well for Easter. So I imagine next weekend there'll be a bit of cash on stuffing, but I'm glad this week there's no cash on stuffing. So take care. Happy Sunday. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now. Bye.